All right, for today's video, I got is the brand new flyball that I got for this year. This is the flyball I got, which I got another flyball from Ed Young's, Harvard Plumbing, like I did with the Dwayne Happy Baby Yoda. This year's flyball I got for this year is the eight foot tall, uh, Apple flyball, Kenji Kane du Direction Sign. Uh, so this one's being sold at Ed Young's for fifty percent off. Um, because I got this after Christmas, so I was luckily I've been willing to get this Apple flyball. Um, it was a, uh, so, yeah, you can barely tell the looks of it. So, yeah, here's the, you see, there's a nice Kenny King, and she got a nice, and it, once again, it's iffy tall, so I'm gonna have to play it somewhere, I don't know where the hell to play it. Um, but yeah, apologies for the dust, because it's been out, it's been open for, since it was being used on displays, like, on store displays, so we had to do is we had to unplug it, and then we put it in its own, uh, box. It's, there's a second box in there, I know, but like you guys should be able to tell the difference between that and something like that. Um, so, anyways, we're gonna show you guys the sides real quick before I do the unboxing. So here's the other side. Sorry, apologies for a little whip right there. Um, and then here's the back. Uh, as you can see, I am actually actually sizing me. Um, it's actually very taller than, than me. And this was released since I believe was. Uh, it's actually by 2020, but this is not really released by 2020. It was actually released since 2019. So, so, uh, yeah, this was released since 2019, um, which I believe was being sold for Home Depot. So this is the one that you see every time. So you got a nice Brandon North Pole sign, Sam's Workshop, Wayne Deer, uh, Stables, and, and that of course is the fun. So yeah, um, as you can better tell the difference, um, this is a nice airborne inflatable. I could uh, actually go with this inflatable, which it is absolutely amazing. I mean, you know what? This is, has a this is another base fan I got because uh, my other ones got thrown away once again. Uh, except the snowman's still alive, so I'm glad that he's still inflating well and still working and, sh and still in good shape. Um, but yeah, once again, it's by Jemmy. And without further ado, um, I'm gonna head upstairs and pause the video, and. Go ahead and get that unboxed, and we'll show you guys the inflatable. Once again, he is iffy tall, so I can't do it in my basement, but I will have to do it like some sort of like in the big area, something like that. So, anyways, without ado, I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and get that fully unboxed and show you guys the show you guys the base fan, um, and stuff like that. So, yeah. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and pause the video and get it fully unboxed. Alrighty, so here I am upstairs, fully unboxed. Uh, the base fan, as we may speak, um, this has a YF125. Um, actually, you better tell the difference uh, that the base fan is, is always a 125, like you see on my inflatable puck weeper. As that thing also has a 125. So, so him and the puck weeper have a 125. So basically, I got this inflatable from, once again, from Ed Young's, Howard Plumbing. So yeah, um, but yeah, it's really big. I mean, I mean, how big is that? But you know what? It is very big. So, so yeah, uh, without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and deflate it. Buddy, it actually plates very fast, actually. Um, in worst cases, it plates very well. Um, but yeah, here it is, uh, fully inflated. Uh, as, once again, this thing features a YF-125. Um, so, so like this is starting a bit a little bit wobbly, but um, it does happen eventually. Now, it doesn't plate as we speak. It doesn't plate very tight, like this inflator wants to explode. The signs, uh, 1672, this actually ran out, which that's the other part. 1672, this actually ran out. Uh, there's two, there's actually three C7s on this Apple and Fable, so I think there's one on the KK2, but I will replace them as possible. So I do have, I do have to order plenty of C7s for the Fables because I do have, once again, put one on the Dragon, um, six feet Dragon. I should probably know what he is now. Uh, but yeah, the base is real nice. I mean, I can go at that. So. Yeah, it's real amazing. So yeah, uh, so we, I do like the fact it's the fonts on the, on the signs here. 
uh, which is amazing. Um, you do have one here, which says the North Pole, which is amazing. You got a nice feature of snowflakes on both sides. And then you have a nice feature of Santa's Workshop. You have this arrow pointing left, so you have like the sparkles, and then you have this nice font. It's an amazing font of Santa's Workshop. So probably Jeremy did the paint on that since many years ago, so they had like plenty of these, and then once again, this was sold there. So, and then here you have reindeer sables, which you have a nice feature of the reindeer as a logo. And then you have a nice font of reindeer sables. I see the arrows pull you to right, so I should probably know how well that is gonna work out. So yeah, uh, he is one big heck of an inflatable. Um, he is actually very taller than my, than my snowman. So here's the back, which is all white. More specific, uh, don't mind this, um, but you know what, it does happen. Um, so yeah, once again, this does include uh, three C7s. I believe comes with four, so you probably know what is in there, and most specifically has like what it has in there. Um, but yeah, um, this is eight feet tall. As I am most certainly unaware that he is one big heck of an inflatable. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, but yeah, once again, one C7 just burned out on the North Pole sign. So I'll get that replaced later by the by this coming December. Once December, I'll get that replaced and I have it out in the outdoor display. Um, but yeah, um, nice of stuff. So yeah, uh, we are gonna get more inflatables eventually, so we'll get more as possible. Um, and that's the stuff. So yeah, uh, but he is one big heavy inflatable, but yeah. So, yeah. Um, without further ado, I couldn't think, um, I'm gonna call this a day. Um, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, bye-bye.